Good morning, everybody. Well, it's almost noon, I think, but it's Saturday and didn't have to work today. Uh, a lot of people were asking me and messaging me, asking me about my father and stuff in some of the videos I've done. So I wanted to uh, come out here and to uh, the graveyard, the Amish graveyard, where my dad is buried at. He's not alive no more. Instead of messaging everybody back and telling them about uh, my father, the story about my father, I figured, well, I'll just... I'll just go do a video, a Facebook Live. Uh, sometimes that was a hard subject for me to talk about, my father. I did a Facebook Live a while back over the summer uh, out here in the graveyard. And uh, I figured, well, heck, why not just do another one? Uh, my father, uh, he was Amish. Amish have the same troubles as anybody would that is not Amish. Uh, they have depression. They have, you know, alcohol, drug problems. Sometimes it's uh, worse than most people know. Uh, my father's name was Henry Yoder, and he, uh, he had a real bad depression problem, bad enough to where the Amish would allow him to go see a psychiatrist. And you know, they allowed him to go uh, seek help outside the Amish community. They put him on depression medicine, and uh, they allowed him to get some help, but he had a really bad depression issue. His mother, my grandma, she left the Amish when he was just a little boy. And that always obviously bothered him. He uh, grew up without her most of his life. And so uh, the Amish didn't understand his problem. They didn't have the resources to really help him. So what they ended up doing was they, they shunned him a lot and got him in trouble a lot uh, because he was drinking and uh, doing things that was not okay in the Amish church. So I saw him a lot uh, struggling, you know, as a little boy growing up. He had to uh, go to alcohol mainly to take care of the pain. You know, he had a lot of a lot of problems. His heart was hurting. Most people didn't see that what was going on inside my dad because uh, he was such a friendly guy, always smiling, so polite to everybody. They didn't see how he was hurting. You couldn't see it. He covered it up with a smile. But he was he was hurting. He was a hurting man. He was depressed, and uh, but he kept getting shunned by the Amish church. And couldn't really get the proper help for him. So I'm going to hop out of this truck and, and tell you a little story about my father. And show you the graveyard here, out here at the Amish Cemetery. Uh, he, uh, in 2003, five years after I was out of the Amish, I got a phone call that, uh, you know, he committed suicide. And it was on a Saturday. And I, uh, I was seeing him secretly but without my mom and the church knowing I was seeing my dad secretly on Sundays and I was talking to him about leaving and he talked like he was going to leave he actually said he was going to and he planned to uh, leave on a Sunday when everybody went to church so Saturday obviously I got that sad phone call that he he, uh, he did take his own life uh, before I was able to pick him up on Sunday uh, I can obviously talk about that easier now because some time has passed but it's still rough to this day uh, but I didn't get to, to get him out of the Amish. I wish I could have. And so he, uh, he lived for a little while. He lived for uh, several hours. He was praying and they found him when he, uh, when he shot himself. It was towards the front of the head. And so now when they found him, he was praying. He was praying for a while and asking God for forgiveness. And I know because of that, I'm going to see my father in, in heaven. He's going to be there. I don't judge him. And that's what I'm here to talk about. The Amish did judge him. And they, they, uh, they looked at that as murder. You know, you shouldn't take your own life. It's wrong to commit suicide and all that stuff. Uh, my dad was found praying and he made it right with the Lord. And I know that. But the Amish don't believe in that. See, they, they had to bury him separately. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the camera around now and show you. That is my father buried right here. And he's by himself because, see, they judged him. They said he's going to hell and uh, he, he uh, committed murder and took his own life. So they buried him here in the corner by himself while everybody else is over there. The other stones are over there on the other side. That's where everybody else is buried at. A lot of stillborn babies are buried there. They try to deliver the, the babies themselves. And, uh, of course, so you see a lot of those there because if there's complications, there's no doctor nearby to, to really help. So there's a lot of stillborn babies and other Amish buried over there. And uh, they buried my father here by, 
by himself. His name was Henry Yoder. <clears throat> Henry Yoder, he, uh, he was born December 16, 1956. He died June 19, 2003. And he was 46 years old, six months and three days. Now they, uh, I wasn't Amish no more, so I didn't have no say so in it. But they uh, wanted my uh, family to okay, be okay with burying my father outside the cemetery, not inside the cemetery. But they kind of, they fought back a little bit and they said, no, we don't want that. We don't want that. We, uh, we would rather put him inside. So they were negotiating back and forth, obviously. And uh, my, uh, my brothers and my mom didn't want to give in. And they said, well, if we put him in the corner and put a fence around him, and the church agreed with that. Uh, well, the church, I think, brought that up about putting him inside. But we have to put something around him because, uh, you know, he committed murder. He committed a sin. And uh, basically, he's not going to make it to heaven. It's the way they looked at it. So such a sin was committed that we have to put him somehow separate uh, away from the other dead. I know that sounds pretty horrible, but uh, I don't hate the Amish anymore. I was pretty angry for a while over that, but I'm at peace now. I forgave them for, for doing that to my father, but uh, that's just how they operate. That's just how, well, that's what they do. That's how they operate. So they buried him by himself here. And, uh, and the other thing they did is they put a... Uh, here, I'll show you. There's a post right here, an old post right here, that they, they dug a, some holes in the ground and put a fence around him over to that other post right there. Uh, and they had a fence around him. Well, Eli Yoder ain't Amish no more when this happened. See, I knew I wouldn't get in trouble in church because I'm not in the Amish church no more. So I, uh, at that time, I wasn't saved. You know, I come out here with my drunk, with my buddies and my cousin, David Yoder, and we tore the fence down. We, uh, we did it ourselves. We tore it down, and then they, they put another one up. They dug the holes even deeper and made a stronger fence. And uh, we came out, and we tore it down, too. I wasn't going to tolerate it. So I took the fence down, and they never bothered him again. So he's resting peacefully here. My father is... Uh, is uh, buried here without a fence now, but he is still by himself in the corner of the graveyard. But I just made sure that I took the fence down and took care of business. So anyway, uh, that that's the story about about my father. You know, he uh, yes, he did commit suicide, uh, but uh, he made his things right with the Lord. He was praying and asking for forgiveness before he died because they took him to the hospital, did brain surgery, and he lived for a few days. So I know he made it right with the Lord. I will never judge my dad. I believe I'm going to see him in heaven because uh, he made it right. Uh, I would probably look at it a little bit different if he was dead instantly uh, because he wouldn't have had no time to pray and make it right with the Lord, but, but he did. God allowed him to live for a little bit. Uh, so that's the story behind my father. A lot of people on my Facebook Lives that I do and YouTube, they were asking me about my father. They said, you, you talk a lot about your mother, but what about your father? So I figured I would do a Facebook Live and just share the story. Y'all have a blessed day today. See y'all. See ya.